what looks like a home economics class at Bruce Randolph School. What we're doing is cu cutting up all these greens and putting them into cups. Is actually the end result of a project that's teaching kids how to garden and farm indoors. Cindy Vasquez is one of several students learning to grow and harvest vegetables for Bruce Randolph's hydroponic farm. A soilless, nutrient-rich approach to growing food. It's like really cool experience to like deal with all these plants and and see the growing process. And they really enjoy like harvesting and like planting and all of that. The farm can grow 10,000 pounds of fresh produce a year, a food source many students and their families currently go without. A lot of our families are deeply engaged in um, work around food and security. And so we thought, you know, when we think about the needs of our community, urban agriculture really could be something that is A, serving the needs of our community. Principal Melissa Boyd says her and other Denver public school leaders worked with the New York-based Teens for Food Justice and Healthy Food for Denver's Kids to build the farm. Teens for Food Justice strives to eradicate food insecurity through youth-led and community-based solutions. Teens for Food Justice CEO Kathy Soule says this is the first hydroponic farm her organization has helped build outside of New York City. This is exactly the kind of city and culture that our organization can thrive in. Vasquez says the farm allows the school to serve fresh produce daily and send produce boxes home with teachers and students. I'm from Swansea. We're kind of like a food desert area and we don't have any like nearby grocery stores. Vasquez says she never imagined she would get into farming, but learning how to use her own hands to address her community's needs is empowering and delicious. Reporting in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.